welcome back to another video i'm charlene welcome to my channel on this channel i talk about fragrances lifestyle and tea and today i'll be doing just that we'll be talking about tea today and my top fragrances for summer so i'm going to start off with a tea that is just perfect for summer and as you guys know i share with you my favorite teas and this tea i have here it's called Summer Flowers, which is just ideal for the season we're in now. Perfect blend for summer. I have a box of green tea here. It's loose leaf tea, but it's wrapped in silk bags. And I'm going to brew them now with you. I have my tea here and I just have a single bag there. And we have rosehip, lemon verbena, we have jasmine, we have robust, silver linden blossom elderflower rose petals lavender flowers and cornflower how perfect is that darlings i'm so excited to film this video we're talking about my top fragrances for spring for spring we're not in spring shall we well it feels like spring it's been like raining <laughs> the whole season i will be sharing my top 10 fragrances for summer i have some beautiful beautiful fragrances that you guys will adore for this season. I'm talking about coconut, frangipani, florals, vanillas, ambers, everything you need for summer. I'm just gonna check on my tea. I've been dying to wear some of these perfumes because summer is really hiding from us here in England, unfortunately. <laughs> so I don't know, are we gonna have a summer? Can I actually wear these perfumes? Probably not. So my darlings, the first perfume I'd like to share with you is a fragrance that's new to my collection. And this has been in my collection for about a week or so now. And this is my Pink Magnolia by Loewe. I fell in love with this, love at first sniff, because this is sparkling, feminine, and ever so pretty. This is a gorgeous fragrance. I don't hear many people talk about this brand in terms of their fragrances, but my goodness, this is beautiful. This is your floral, your white florals, a blend of magnolia, some red berries and musk. It is absolutely <laughs> elegant and stunning. It has this sparkling note, and I think that's coming from the magnolia with a burst of berries. It's not a tart berry, it's like a sweetened berry, but I wouldn't describe this as a sugary or a gourmand fragrance. It's very much floral, sparkling, very pretty, a perfect daytime scent for the summer. And I love the bottle. You've got this gold foil print, and then if you reflect it in the light, it glows green. Um, I don't think the juice is green inside, but yeah, the juice is just a standard like amber color. So it's a really pretty bottle. And I have the 50 mil here, this lovely guys, really delicate, almost, it almost has like a sparkling clean hair shampoo note, but I find that with any perfumes containing magnolia, if you are a fan of Harrods Rose by Bond Number no. 9, then you would like this. The two are very similar. This one utilizes the magnolia in a way that promotes a sparkling, effervescent type of scent. Whereas Bond Number no. 9, Harrods Rose, utilizes the rose. You receive a feminine, rosy note. This is pretty. You've got the berries in here and musk. So that's my Loewe and that's my pink magnolia. So darlings, the next perfume I have is by Erin. This is my hibiscus palm. This is your tropical frangipani coconut milk fragrance. This is something that reminds you of the beach. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. I think this would suit the older crowd a little bit more. Hibiscus palm would be perfect for those who are over 30, I would say. I think anyone can wear this fragrance, but there is something about it. Because it contains that coconut note, the coconut is a mature coconut. It is sophisticated. It's not sugary sweet. It's an experienced, a rich coconut with some beautiful florals. It's a lovely scent for the summer. Guys, this is so beautiful. So the notes we have in here, we have lotus, hibiscus, we have alang alang, palm leaf and ginger. And in the heart, which I do pick up in the heart, we've got the frangipani and white flowers. And then you've got coconut milk, vanilla and musk in the base. So the base is creamy and rich with the coconut milk and vanilla. Beautiful already. 
but then it's the lotus adds a bit more of a green note and i think that's adding that sophisticated touch to this instead of it being like a playful vanilla coconut with frangipani i think this is a bit more sophisticated and elegant it's a beautiful fragrance for the summer and um, again this is ideal for daytime wear so that's my hibiscus palm so my tea is ready now so i'm just going to prepare my tea for you guys so we have a really nice light amber color here beautiful i love this perfume okay so this is a fragrance when i first tried it i have to say i fell in love with this perfume it was love at first sniff and this is my bal de freak bal de freak is your fresh citrus and quite unique perfume so bal de freak you know something i haven't worn this fragrance yet we're in july i've just reminded myself of how much i need to wear this perfume this is beautiful wow okay guys um, i'm so excited to wear this one in bal de freak we have bergamot lemon and neroli we have african marigold flowers we have violet jasmine in the heart and in the base we have musk cedarwood and amber so this is your amber meets some citrus but you have a heart of a beautiful floral note of violet and jasmine it's beautiful i pick up the jasmine in here bergamot is in here it's really gorgeous it's quite unique but um i think this fragrance is equally unisex i think this would smell amazing on a guy as much as it would on a woman but there's a freshness to this but it's not like a cut sharp or tart citrus this is a well balanced citrus and the violet and musk adds a really nice ambery touch to this it's beautiful that's my bal de freak by by radio okay so coming up next is a fragrance house you guys know <laughs> how much i love this brand this house is chanel i love this fragrance chanel number no. five low or the toilette this is me all day this is me daytime evening summer winter fall vacation traveling on the plane Re okay let me stop this is chanel number no. five low i love this elegant feminine fresh citrus you have grapefruit you have ylang in here it's that rose and jasmine heart it's sophisticated but fresh it's clean and it has a very delicate powdery touch this is gorgeous in the summertime on warm skin this smells amazing and this is a fragrance you can easily wear in the daytime or the evenings and i think this perfume by chanel suits every single age i think it's more geared from maybe 21 plus but either way this is very sophisticated beautiful fragrance by chanel number five low so darlings the next perfume i have for you is my tom ford and this is my soleil blanc this is my eau de toilette version and this is a beautiful fresh citrus for the summer but it has some creamy coconutty vibes it has some pistachio it has like a coconut almost like i would say like a coconut water effect with this one it is fresh it is something that reminds you of a vacation beach you're wearing all white gold accessories it's this fragrance here just like the bottle you'll be matching this fragrance very well i like to wear this as an evening scent in the summer if i'm going out soleil blanc is rather crisp and radiant very pretty and it's ideal for the summer this is something you can take with you on vacation it just smells like a tropical destination so if you're missing the beach or you're missing traveling <laughs> then i would just spritz this on during the summer then i'll be wearing a lot of this perfume so that's my soleil blanc the next perfume i have is a fragrance that i'm excited to share with you because it's my signature scent and this is my gentle fluidity gold this is a perfume i discovered I think it was 2018 or 19 um, when I bought this and I absolutely fell in love with this perfume when it was launched. 
This is your amber rich fragrance with some spicy elements to it. You have coriander and there's some juniper berries in here. It is soft and, and sweet with vanilla. We have nutmeg in here and some musk. It is so dainty, <laughs> elegant and beautiful. This is a fragrance I would wear as a signature scent, as I said, and also, um, to me i mean i wear this in the day i wear this in the evenings and i find this is appropriate for every single season but in the summer when your skin is warm the amber notes with the vanilla it warms up quite nicely and it radiates so well and you can smell this this is a this will fill the room this perfume fills the room so that's my gentle fluidity gold okay so darlings the next fragrance i have is a beautiful fragrance for summer and this one is by diptyque this is my philosikos and this is a blend of fig with coconut milk and this is so gorgeous now i have the eau de parfum philosikos utilizes every single part of the fig we have the fig fruit we have the fig leaves and also there's fig milk in here this is a very beautiful fresh perfume that is really nice for a hot summer's day it's going to add that cooling effect it gives you a delicate fragrance as well nothing too heavy philosophers is a mixture of fig with coconut milk so in the beginning when i first tried this perfume i have to say that i received this very like sharp green note and in the beginning you do receive a green note but Believe me guys, this will settle on your skin so nicely. When this settles, you receive that creamy, milky fig with some coconut. And it's not a heavy, rich, dense coconut milk. You know, the cream like you use for cooking. This is more like a coconut water or a very light milk. It's not heavy, it's not sugary, it's fresh. It's uplifting and it's very nice to wear during a hot summer's day. This is a fragrance I prefer to wear from spring to summer. Just smelling it now, it just smells like you're going out and seeing some friends. It's very like carefree and easy. This is a nice casual daytime scent as well. It's very pleasant, but that green sharpness that you receive in the opening, it does calm down within the next 10 to 15 minutes and you're left with this delicate milky note from the coconut and the milky note from the fig it's a really nice combination for summer so that's my philosikos by diptyque the next perfume i have is bronze goddess this is an ideal perfume for the summertime guys this is your fragrance to be honest this would be my top five if i had to only pick five fragrances for summer it would definitely contain bronze goddess as the top five this is your beautiful coconut beachy sunscreen summer vibes perfume it is gorgeous it's sexy it's playful it's rich it's like the best scent i've ever smelled ever it's just a gorgeous perfume by estee lauder amazing estee lauder is just amazing with these fragrances so gorgeous it's quite complex this one and we have coconut milk we've got sandalwood and vanilla we have golden amber there's some orange we have bergamot and lemon and in the base of this perfume we have tiare flower we have jasmine we have magnolia orange flower and fresh lavender i received the vanilla i received coconut a lot of tiare flowers but it's a gorgeous tiare flower and also this magnolia which i do love magnolia guys magnolia i find in the fragrance adds this sparkling touch to a perfume it adds elegance and also a level of class to a perfume but then it can be a little bit playful as well this perfume is ideal for evening settings vacation miss definitely a vacation this is perfect i spray a lot because I just enjoy this scent so much and this is the Afresh version and they do have an Eau de Toilette no they have the what versions do they have they have the Eau de Parfum and they have the Afresh and I have the Afresh here beautiful summer fragrance I cannot go through summer without this perfume it's beautiful the next fragrance I have is a Jo Malone perfume this is my Nectarine Blossom and Honey this is a lovely fruity um, perfume so 
If you love fruity fragrances, then this is ideal for you. This is lovely as a cologne. This is a perfume I like to wear if I'm going to touch up throughout the day. And I've mentioned this to you before, I and mean, when I went through my whole collection of fragrances and how I store my perfumes, I was talking about the size of these bottles. I absolutely adore the size of these bottles. It's a 30 ml easy for traveling when you're out and about during the summer during the day you just want something that's light easy to just pop into your bag it's this one here and i just like touch-ups and what i love about joe malone is the first few hours you get this vibrant beautiful fresh scent that will last for about that duration between the third and the fourth hour i would add a bit more fragrance but i do love the size i love the notes in here it's the blossom notes and it's the honey you do pick up honey in here we have some plum which adds this sort of richness to the perfume the most prominent note in here is peach for me and nectarine and then you do get some black currant in this perfume as well so it's really nice and fruity for those of you who love fruity scents and i recommend this one by joe malone that's my nectarine blossom and honey i love that one the next fragrance I have is a very special fragrance and this is my Coconut Fizz. This is beautiful guys, very, very beautiful. This is your sparkly coconut. I remember earlier I was saying how with Velocicos you have this type of sophisticated coconut, it's quite delicate. And also my Hibiscus Palm, that coconut is a bit more of a sophisticated coconut. This is your sweet, powerful, playful coconut. It has a bit more of an artificial touch to it. However, when I smell this, I do get an impression of leather, like a soft, creamy suede or creamy leather. It's beautiful, it's fresh, it's pretty. We have bergamot in the top notes, we have free shirt, coconut and sandalwood, and in the base we have some tonka bean. So it's creamy with the base notes of tonka in here. It's fresh with the free shirt, and I find it really playful. So that's a beautiful fragrance by Guerlain Art and this is in the Aqua Allegoria range. And lastly, I have my beautiful Reckless here. This is my wonderful Reckless by Roja Dove. Oh, guys, this is so beautiful. This is your orange blossom fragrance. We have some rose and jasmine. It is elegant, it is beautiful. It is so opulent and this is a fragrance because it contains that orange blossom note. I think I think this perfume could easily be worn throughout the whole summer. I find this to be very elegant and alluring. Reckless has a heart of beautiful florals. We have rose, jasmine, geranium in here and in the top notes we have lots of citruses refreshing elegant citruses that's perfect for the summer if you're looking for an elegant perfume to wear to an occasion perhaps you're going to a wedding or you're going out with the in-laws and you want to smell glamorous and beautiful <laughs> this is something i would recommend i would recommend reckless it is orange and lemon in the opening you have a base of some spices we've got coriander vanilla it's a beautiful, stunning, elegant perfume by Roja. So that's my Reckless. Because those are all of my fragrances for summer. These are my top 10 perfumes that I cannot live without. And I think the one I'm most excited to wear, okay, let me share that with you because there's so many. Of course it's Reckless. We just spoke about Reckless, that's number one. Then I think it would have to be my Bronze Goddess. If I had to pick my top five, Bronze Goddess is one of them. Definitely this one, Reckless, so that makes two. Philosikos is a beautiful daytime scent with the creamy coconut and fig, I love that one. And I have my Soleil Blanc, a gorgeous fragrance. And then I think that would be four, isn't it? Oh, can I pick, can I pick another one? Um, my Belle de Freak is a fragrance that is so gorgeous, it's unique. This is very popular, but I rarely like smell people wearing this. So when I do wear this, I feel a bit unique when I wear this, so that's a good thing with that one. And then, I know it's five, but <laughs> I have to mention, I have to mention this one here, my Pink Magnolia. Guys, if you are new to Loewe, let me know, because I haven't heard many reviews on YouTube about this brand, even Pink Magnolia, so you've tried this let me know what you think of it i am a big fan of bonds number no. nine harrods rose and this is very similar 
that sparkling feminine touch with musk and red berries in this one so it's gorgeous i'm excited to wear this a lot actually things those are all of my beautiful fragrances for summer if you have seen any of your favorites let me know i would love to know what your favorite perfumes are for the summer let me know down below what you'll be wearing i would like to know what is your top three perfumes for summer if i haven't mentioned any of your favorites here let me know your top three perfumes because i want to try something different i have to say these perfumes are always on rotation every single year i don't think i've tried anything new for the summer the only thing that is new i would have to say is my loewe is my pink magnolia otherwise these fragrances every single summer i wear the same thing so let me know if you've got something to share with me so darlings thank you so much for watching this video if you're new here on my channel i would love for you to join me for tea and also to talk about fragrances and lifestyle have a wonderful day my darlings i'll see you in the next video bye